Victoria meets a family. I don't know what happened. In turmoil. I take care of my responsibilities, but I'm making excuses, and it's you just crazy silly. to me. He's right. Do you hear him? Two brothers refuse to care for their out-of-control pit bull. Don't you clean it up. Victoria has had enough. <gasps> you are not cleaning after him at all. The cause of the negative behavior is you. But is it too late for this fractured family? Just to be very close. The problem has to be solved, period. Yeah, but what's the problem? The problem is you and your brother. That's why the is problem. It why it's is both it of you. My brother, he's like the prince in the house. He just, you know, he sleeps till whatever time he wants. He wakes up whenever he wants. What are you even doing? What are you doing? Michael doesn't really contribute. You know, he looks out for himself. Why can't he wake up at a certain time? Don't I can't... be critical. Just do why... it. One person yells at another. The other one yells at another. We wind up in big arguments. Anybody else here? Robert. Robert. He's upstairs. He Does he sleep a lot? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Does he work? No. It gets me mad that my brother's here all day doing nothing. You know, what are you doing? What are you doing with, you, with yourself? Rob, does Robert walk him? No. We're okay. all stressed in this house. Are you? It's okay. a stressful house. OK, and why is We have is a lot that? of financial problems. Mm -hmm. we, we've had a lot of losses in the past couple of years, you know, husbands and, and nephews. And, and, you know, maybe our stress is like banging off the dog. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think he so. will be feeling any stress that's mm -hmm. in this household. Dogs pick up on human emotion like that. Yes. Their senses are immeasurably superior to ours. There's a lot of stuff going on in this house. I feel the tension between the family, and so does Bones. With Robert still fast asleep, Victoria confronts Michael about helping his mother. You know what I'm going to say. You call for my help, but I'm teaching you, <laughs> which means that you want to be doing a lot more than you've done. Yeah. And you want to be taking the pressure off your mother and your grandmother. OK. I have a lot of work ahead of me with Michael and Robert. And am I going to put them through their paces? Can I see outside? Yeah, we were very embarrassed about it. But Grandma, you, Mom, can you go ahead. show it? Can you show me? Sure. Thank you. Sure will. You've got a garden in your pool. Yes, a, a forest. A forest? Yes. In your pool. OK. So this is where he goes? Not here. Over here. Oh, over here, yeah. yes. Ay, ay, ay. Do you clean it up or yeah. not? Uh, yes. You clean up the poop. And Jody cleans it up, too. <laughs> and Jody home, does. When she's home. But Michael and Robert don't. Uh, no. <gasps> These boys, they are dreadful. <laughs> Victoria on the warpath. When I think people are being taken advantage of, that really angers me. So how, when does this get clear? Don't you do anything. Don't you clean it up. <laughs> I'm going to introduce myself to your grandson, Robert, and I'm going to get his ass out here, and he's going to clean up that poop. Come on. It is completely out of line to have an 81-year-old go pick up a dog's poop. Does she know where she's going? Hello? Where are you? Robert? Hi, Robert. How you doing? Um, how are you today? Good. OK. I've got a little job for you to do. Good, come here. It was kind of weird having some lady I don't really know come in and start telling me to do things. Get a bag. So, boys, this is your backyard. I know you haven't been here for a while. Last time I was here, we, they had water in there. Yeah, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? Now, because your dog had a bit of upset stomach, there's sort of diarrhea over there, so you can go for that and pick that up. Um, you got that one. <laughs> yeah. Robert and Michael were acting like little girls when they had to pick up the poop. I might be your worst nightmare. My 81-year-old grandmother, she's really the one who actually cleans up after bones. Seriously. I have no interest in cleaning it up at all. Yeah, you let him. One? I'd enjoy <laughs> seeing him pick it up. <laughs> I bet. Quick. Yeah, quick, he says. It was ridiculous. I know, it's disgusting. And they didn't even know how to pick up the poop correctly which just demonstrates that they've actually never done it before. You've seriously let your grandmother do this. Ooh. Unimpressed with the boy's effort, 
Victoria sits the whole family down for some straight talk about bones. It's not rocket science. The cause of the negative behavior is you, without a doubt. His real needs are being completely neglected. And neglect is abuse. He's sleeping all day. Why can't he walk the dog? He's right. He's right. Do you hear him? He doesn't do anything besides what Mike needs to do for himself. He gets up in the morning, goes to the gym, then goes to work, then comes home and does nothing. You make excuses, and it's you just crazy to, to me. I take care of my responsibilities, whatever needs to be what done. What responsibilities? Whatever needs to be like done. Like what? Whatever they ask me to do. Oh, you need to stop complaining me. and actually That's do things for the household. Excuse, excuse me, Michael. Yeah, we make you excuse. are selfish. You go to the gym, and then you come home, and you go to your basketball games. We yeah, don't but... see you. Everybody is pointing fingers and blaming everybody else. And nobody's actually taking responsibility for their actions. Robert, you do need to get yeah. up and get your life on more of a schedule, because it's going to do you a lot of good as well as your dog. For Bones to make further progress, Victoria needs to improve his relationship with Michael and Robert. I want to do a bit of focus work with Bones today because a lot of times he ignores you. And certainly when you're trying to walk him, so many distractions outside, he's not listening to you. He completely ignores us. Totally. <laughs> Bones doesn't focus on his family at all. Michael and Robert haven't bothered to train him. He doesn't respond to them. Good boy, Bones. <laughs> there you go. Good boy, take it. Good boy. He God. loves toys like that. Go get the rope. Let's jazz him up a little bit and play with him. Oh, me? OK, yeah, oh. both of you. OK, now, before he gets that rope, I want you to ask him to sit. Sit, Bones. Don't say sit, Bones, just say sit. sit. Get in front of him, get his focus, and say sit again. Sit. I wanted Bones to be able to see that if he didn't put his bottom on the ground, he was not getting the toy. The reason why we're doing this game is because out on the street, you've got to be more motivating in getting your dog's focus than that other dog out there. Sit down. What sit down? <laughs> and you're sit. adding words here. Yeah. What do you what? mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sit down, sit. y'all. <laughs> Bones knows what sit means. It's just he doesn't want to do it. If the boys can't even get their own dog to sit, which is the most simple thing in the world, there is absolutely no hope. I want you to use the same word as everybody else is using right. sit. Sit down <laughs> is different from sit. Nice. Get him to sit. 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 I was praying in my mind, just sit, sit, sit. Good. 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 Yeah, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get him to do it again. Sit. Nice. Oh, good boy. Nice. <laughs> Bones is realizing now, if I do something good, I get rewarded for it. So he's going to keep offering the behavior again and again and again. And that's what positive reinforcement is all about. See how quickly he learned that. Wow. Beautiful. Me and Michael, after learning what we learned today, are definitely going to keep up with the training, because um, we see how much he's picking up to it already. So it can only be better and better for the dog. Sit. Yes. 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 You got it. <laughs> now that Jody's feeling better about Bone's behavior, Victoria finds a way to get the boys more actively involved with their dog. Fun for you. I want the boys to put in more time with Bones, to actually play with him. If they can give Bones the outlet he needs by exercising him and by playing with him, they're going to have a dog that is much calmer and less reactive. I wanted to bring you here to meet Roo. So Roo does the sport of canine disc throwing, and he actually has a champion dog. Really? And what kind of dog is Wallace? Uh, Wallace is a pit bull. Really? Wow. That's cool. Yep. Let's see Wallace in action. Absolutely. Here he comes. Oh, he's beautiful. Good job, yeah. buddy. <laughs> buddy! Yes. It was really inspiring to know that he's a pit, and we could actually get Bones to try to do that. Good job. Oh, right. That was beautiful. <laughs> I'm extremely impressed. And, and look. This is trust, this is loyalty, this is fun. Great connection here. Yeah, and I'd no, love yeah. you to have that with Bones. Yeah, definitely. Me too. <laughs> yep. So let's go get Bones, shall we? So this is Bones. What's up, Bones? How would we start? I would think I'm going to give you these couple of discs, okay. kind of wave it and get him to chase it. Hey, hey, okay. hey, hey, hey. 
and then see if you can get him to take it and play a little tug with it. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> bones, bones. Rue started to try and get Bones excited with the disc, but Bones wasn't having any of it. Bones, come on. Until Rue bought out the tug toys. Nice. There we go. Oh, you like that? Oh. There we go. Tug is an amazing form of exercise for your dog, and you can actually teach control through the game of tug. Bones was up for it. He was jumping at it and leaping at it and grabbing at it. Let him have it. There. Good boy. <laughs> now, when he grabs it, actually play a little tug with him uh. before you let him have it. That game of tug is the fun thing for Bones. That's going to get him coming back to you. It was really good to see Michael and Robert having a good time. It's the first time I've seen them get on with each other and smile. Nice. As long as he's interested in the game, then you can ask him to do things. And he's going to work for you Come to here, keep that game going. If the boys continue with a little bit of this exercise daily, they are going to see a difference in bones, without a doubt. How do you feel now, actually, seeing your dog having fun? Yeah, With no, you. it feels good. It it's feels good. And yeah. I feel like I wasted, you know, a couple years of his life to, you know, when he could have been enjoying it like this. It's been two weeks since I left Jody and her family. Trick he right is there. really <laughs> this dog. I'm not even moving. And it seems like everyone's a lot happier. Okay. Michael, look what's here. It's a lot cleaner than last time. For the boys. It seems old habits die hard. Can you please come and get this? Yeah, he could do it. I'm no, I just Michael, did the last one. I just went for bag. a hike to clean up dog Come on, get the bag. No, I'm not doing that. I just did it. I still have to get on them sometimes. The deck looks really good, but yeah, you know, yeah. that's one. Except for the swamp in here. <laughs> but you know, they do help cleaning up that poop. 